Hi guys, so in this video I'll be talking about my experience as an Axie Infinity Scholar. So if for some reason you don't know what Axie Infinity is, it's basically the leading NFT card game. The gameplay is similar to Hearthstone but you have to own 3 Axies to battle against each other and right now the floor price of each Axie is about $120 uh, as of today. So a scholar is basically you spending your time playing other people's account and then you split the profit later on. So what are the benefits of being a scholar? So firstly, you get to play this game for free. So normally people have to spend about 800 to 100, 800 to 1000 dollars for each team to get a decent team. And you just have to spend the time to play for them and then you get to split the profit later on. So with this, you get to experience a lot more about this game and learn more in depth about how this game works, how each card combination works, how to counter each teams, and you actually can learn a lot about how to find deals in the marketplace. So a few months back, my friend actually introduced me about this game and I was really put off because of the large amount of capital needed to actually get, get started in this game. And then a few days later, my friend came back to me and told me about the scholarship program that he's about to join. And I was pretty reluctant at first, but then I decided to give it a try because why not, it's free. Um, and then after I get into it, I got really hooked on. I started researching about uh, how this game works, look at YouTube videos about how I can grind SLP con uh, efficiently, how I can get good about uh, get good in, at this game, and with all this, um, I get with just two months, I get to experience a lot about this game. So, let's now talk about sort of like the dark side of being a scholar. So, firstly, um, it's the frustration of being a scholar. So, if you are a competitive person like me, I um, I want to once I get hooked on the game, I want to get good. I want to get uh, climb to the leaderboards, right? So as a scholar, usually you get three axes and and only that three axes. You can't really change anything. You, you sometimes can, you can negotiate with your manager and if they want to change, you know, that's pretty good. But usually it's not the case. And because of that, my choices are very limited. And for, as for my case, my axes, are actually pretty decent, the card combinations are pretty decent, but the speed, Nani? the stats are just trash, <laughs> right? So you have to take this into consideration. And the next point is also just keep in mind, do, do not join any any scholarship program you find. If, if you think the manager is pre pretty sus, it usually is, and if you join the scholarship program and then you join for you play about two weeks to a month and then your manager ran away with that SLP and then don't give you anything it sucks right because that is uh, you just wasted your precious time playing for nothing okay okay so let's move on to the juicy part which is how much do I earn per month playing this game as a scholar so I'm just gonna put it out there I do a 40 60 split so meaning I get 40 percent and my manager gets 60 percent with the 20 energy per day allocation, I put it 5 on adventure and 15 on arena. So with this, keep in mind that I only spend about two less than 2 hours um, playing this game per day. And I earn about 130 to 150 SLP, sometimes less a day. And with this in total, I earn about $125 per month playing uh, playing Axie Infinity as a scholar. So this is taking into consideration that the SLP price is at 8 cents. Right now, um, the market is a bit shaky, so um, the SLP is going up and down. But if, let's say, the SLP price went up to 15, 20 cents, then you basically just double your earning. But on the flip side, if it actually drops um, well below that, then your total balance would be down as well. That is also a risk to keep in mind. So in conclusion, the two months I spent as a scholar, I learned a lot about this game. If you are a competitive person like me, and you don't have enough money to spend on this game, I suggest you to join 
the scholarship program and try it out uh, learn more about this game and in the future if you want to grind to the top you know you can always wait it out use those time to learn more about this game and gather the money that you need uh, for a decent team and then you can play for your own in the future and if you are not a competitive person there is nothing wrong with just spending a little bit of your time to play this game and earn an extra 100 to 200 dollars a month um, just by playing this game especially a student nextly is uh, if you're okay with this amount of earning then yeah feel free to join so that's it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like comment whatever for the youtube algorithm and i'll see you guys in the next video bye